All right, well, anyway. All right. When I'm in Houston, check in with Mr. Rogers, please. Don't forget Ashley. Don't you know? Don't tell me your name, bitch. I'm calling you Ashley. <laughs> She's a real genuine person. How about Ashley? She done showed me love from the beginning. I she did. She showed me love before Ashley dropped it. Me and Ashley, our bond is unbreakable. Our heart is untakeable. You gonna keep throwing this shit in my face, Ashley. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Sway Lee, man, live from Houston, man. Shout out to my girl, Ashley, with two E's. Hey, guys. It's Chloe. And Kylie. And be sure to listen to Ashley from 9 to 2 on 93.7 The Beat. What up, what up? It's the world famous DJ Clue Desert Storm. Tune to my homegirl right here, Ashley Young. Ashley Young gave me the co sign. Who said that? My John. Hey, squat that 4000 with Ashley with two E's, not Ashley. I don't already know Ashley on air is fucking Queen of Houston. This is the be best on radio. How about that? Fuck it. This is chilling, man. I came to see you. I know. You my buddy. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. I'm a fan of you, too, now. Oh. Yeah, Woo! Woo! Before we go any further, that you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't already follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Ashley with two E's on air. This is the most weirdly angled video because uh, I lost the thing that goes on the thing that you screw into the bottom of your camera. And then it goes, yeah. So this weekend, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I had a very eventful weekend. I went to Chicago and then to Dallas uh, to see our station, sh our sister station show in Chicago, 107.5 WGCI. They had their big jam. I then hopped on a flight from Chicago to Dallas because I originally planned to go see the baby on the last day of his Kirk tour in Dallas. And it just so happened that he was performing at GCI's big jam and the Kirk show. So anyway, Basically, I was um, a da baby roadie for two days. Baby to baby to baby to baby. So as you can see, I have his billion dollar baby hoodie on. Oh, you can't see. Well, billion dollar baby hoodie. Uh, the baby is. We met in January this year. We had an interview right when he signed to Interscope. We kind of like uh, announced it on my show, and we've always just been cool. Like we just kept in touch. Obviously he blew the fuck up this past year went crazy he's nominated for grammys we got there and the first person i see as soon as i walk in down the hall is yellow beezy's manager and um label rep <laughs> radio people don't realize we're a huge network like we have hundreds to thousands of stations around the country so obviously we know our co-workers in different cities so shout out to all my gci people trey white kiki tom capone uh who did i meet zach bug like every everybody over gci what's up i went with him to do his interview we had, um, Now, this is my question. Now, I mean, everything kind of happened, like, really low-key, kind of fast. What's what I was just like, okay, boo, give these angles, okay. Say, we ain't motherfucking Chirac, nigga. Let's party. It's a real nigga party, you cannot get in. Yeah. Busting off the man, man. Fuck him off his ass. I'm gonna shake the hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not your friend. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck around. Yeah. I'm not saying, damn. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck going on, man? Y'all let this motherfucker what? This place, I'll see if they know it. Right. Y'all know we respect none of that suck ass shit or that lame ass shit. All these hate man niggas and hate man bitches can suck dick and die, nigga. That's on my mama, nigga. That's on me, baby. That's on me, baby. That's on me. The funny part is I have seen Yellow BZ, Megan, and the baby so many times this year. I know their exact set. Like I know exactly what songs they're gonna do when they come out and exactly what they're gonna do when they leave. 
Sometimes they switch it up, but for the most part, I know exactly what songs they do. We saw Megan, we saw the baby. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I damn sure did. Yep. The fuck is going on? Yep. <laughs> yeah. The fuck he doing right now? Yep. I know what time it is. The number one record that they got is the J. They go crazy when they play a head bobbing and shit. And I'm just so much fun to think about my father and shit. They found a day to go day before I started to the same day. I flew into the city from my habit. I was out there with the bandages. Looking at my door, they can see myself like that. My baby was on my dad. Same time, I got the new machine when I'm doing this for love. Like, I know everyone listens to hip hop, but I just assume like the baby's main audience was like black and it was a lot of white people there. <laughs> so it's not, that's not a bad thing. It just it surprised me like seeing all these people like singing along to a song. I thought it would like majority be black people, but hey man, power to the people. <laughs> like everybody party. If you love the baby, you buying his records, you buying his merch. That's all that matters. Okay. Like that's my guy. I'm gonna start doing these more regularly, but make sure, once again, you love me. You live, especially if you live in Houston, dog. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button, like it, share it. Follow me, Instagram and Twitter, Ashley with Tui's on air. If you're in Houston, actually if you're anywhere, because you can stream us on iHeartRadio. 
Make sure you tune in to me on 93.7 The Beat from 9 to 2. I am on air after The Breakfast Club being a G. Um, and until then, see you later. See y'all in 93.7. Look at look how fucking brainwashed I am. Before I say bye, I say the tagline to my station. What the fuck, dog? Who the fuck?